The Stewardship Committee has been highlighting Knox Ministries over the past few months under the theme, Inspiring Generosity, Growing Ministries. We've now completed three years of worshiping in our new facility. The leadership focus is changing to how our building will be used to deliver our ministries and our programs. It will be through the generosity, gifts, time, and talents of our members, adherents, and friends that will allow us to, to both grow existing ministries and create new and exciting ministries. Active Ministries Compassionate Ministries Inclusive Ministries Faithful Ministries As Presbyterians, we affirm that Christ calls all Christians to participate in his ministry in the world and gives each one gifts to do so. In church, we help one another learn how to receive and use God's gifts faithfully. Ministry is from the Greek word diakoneo, meaning to serve. Jesus said, Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant and whoever wants to be first must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Responding to the gracious love of God, we serve in the name of Christ in our homes and families, in our neighborhoods, in our workplaces, in our church communities, and in the world. Knox has been part of people's faith journey for many years. Within this worshiping community, members young and old have dared to dream and follow God's call in their lives to minister to others. Some of our current members recall when the edge of town was not nearly as far from Knox Church as it is now. In 1973, Waterloo Lutheran University was renamed to Wilfrid Laurier University. The University of Waterloo had not yet celebrated its 20th anniversary. Around this time, Knox Church had some serious building issues. This was addressed in 1975 when the final addition to the old building was completed. Not long after, in 1984, a new ministry was formed called Food for Thought that has welcomed students from the universities in Waterloo for 30 years now. Many ministries have been born from the dreams of congregational members who felt a call to minister to others. What inspired the Knox congregation in the 70s, 80s, and 90s? What brought new families through the doors? What did they pray for? The congregation decided in 2008 to build a new facility on the current parking lot. It was an exciting time. A time to dream of new ways to deliver existing ministries and new ministries that would now be possible. On Sunday, May the 29th, 2011, the congregation began worship in the old sanctuary and ended in the new. The dream became a reality. This was the building dedication prayer of that service. Lord of Majesty, we offer this building Consecrate it to be a place of worship where your name is exalted, your presence experienced, your power released. Lord of Encounter, we offer this building. May it be a place of prayer where your will is revealed, your touch felt, answers given, 
peace known. Lord of the Gospel, we offer this building, consecrate it to be a place of revelation, where the good news is proclaimed, your word preached, your love shown. Lord of the Cross, we offer this building, consecrate it to be a place of reconciliation, where barriers are broken down and forgiveness known. Lord of Compassion, we offer this building, may it be a place of acceptance where all are welcomed and valued, where people find a home and love is poured out. Lord of the Broken, we offer this building, may it be a place of healing where those who mourn are comforted, wounds are tended, and lives made whole. Lord of the Oppressed, we offer this building. May it be a place of liberation, where the yoke of the past is broken, justice declared, people set free. Lord of the weak, we offer this building, consecrated to be a place of empowering, where hearts and hands are strengthened, courage and faith rekindled, and the gifts of your spirit bestowed. Lord of the redeemed, we offer this building, May it be a place of celebration, where bread and wine are freely shared, joy and praise overflow, abundant life is realized. Lord of all life, we offer this building and with it our community of faith. Consecrate us to be a blessing to all we meet. What inspires you? Where do you want to get involved? What is God calling you to do? Who do you feel called to minister to? What gifts has God given to you that you want to share? Let's dream together and challenge ourselves for the next leap of faith and the next. Our 125th year as a congregation began with a celebration weekend with guest speaker, the Reverend Dr. Roger Nishioka. Roger led a Saturday workshop and spoke at the celebration dinner and on Sunday morning. He reminded us that God is calling us to do things and we are called to be Christians in new ways. As the year of celebration ended, we had a workshop with guest speaker, Dr. Diana Butler Bass on October 5th. As part of her sermon, Diana told us about two churches she visited recently. One was thriving, one was dying. The difference she said was vision, vision for the future. The people in church that was thriving expressed great thanks for the vision of the faithful members who came before them. She reminded us that investing in ministries is not only for the people here today, it is an investment for those in generations to come. We have spent our anniversary year gathering ideas, learning, dreaming, and praying. How can Knox minister to a young family looking for a church home that focuses on children? Or to people looking for inspiring worship and a place to be involved? or students from around the world or across a province studying Waterloo who are invited to Knox events. Or to friends of Knox members who come to Logos, Upward Sports, Wednesdays at Knox. Or to retirees who move to one of the many new apartment buildings in Uptown Waterloo and find a place to be involved, a place to continue their faith journey. What will their needs be? How will the world be different for them? Who will lead them? Who will teach them? What experiences will inspire them? Through the generosity of our gifts, time, and talents, we will minister together within the congregation, the community, our country, our world.